Good morning, guys. Welcome to the day. It is bright and early on a Monday morning, about 8.30 in the morning. It's about 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is negative 12 Celsius. Yep, totally did that on the fly. Didn't use a converter or anything. So it's super cold. I had no desire to go out into the cold this morning. But I ended up taking Duncan to school this morning, and while I was getting him ready and getting him out the door, I got an email from my boss saying that because the roads where we work are so icy, he wasn't going into work. And because he's not going into work, it means I'm not going into work. So I'm working from home today. In other much better news, last night after I finished up the vlog while it was uploading, for whatever reason, motivation hit me. So I went on a ridiculous unboxing spree, and I went ahead and got the Geekbox unboxed. This is the little 4K Android powered box that's open source that can also run Ubuntu. Very cool. I haven't actually powered it on yet. You know how I do. I unbox it, I do that initial video, and then I haven't touched it since. But that was late last night. I also unboxed the JXD509G that I've been talking about doing for so long, as well as the Remo Cam, which I'm really looking forward to checking out. Because this is a wireless security camera, which apparently has two way audio, micro SD local recording, and an IR blaster so that it can communicate with other things in your room. Very cool. But I think I'm gonna take just a little bit of time, finish off my oatmeal, try to get some work done. Somebody appears to be a happy butt this morning. Good morning. Oh, he's hiccuping. That's okay. We still like you. <laughs> you slept good last night? What'd you say, five or six hours at a time? Yeah, good job. High five. Well, it is a little while later. It's actually about 11.30, almost lunchtime at this point. Got up ridiculously early and as I would have expected I fell asleep but after I filmed that last clip I was sitting at my desk I was answering emails and comments and whatnot and just kind of leaned back and closed my eyes for a second and then I woke up and it was like 15 minutes before my meeting it, it was only like I don't know half hour or something like that but still lost a little bit of time there in other news while I've been working on stuff for the day job I've also been well I pulled out the the structure sensor scanner thing and I've been playing around with that a bit like I said before, when I unboxed it, I did the unboxing and I sort of moved on and forgot about it. They have a suite of apps for it on the Apple Store. So they've got like a scanner app. They have a room capture app. And I'm going to be showing all this in the full video about it, but just thought I would show you this. Like, if I hit the scan button right now, you see that green stuff that's showing up? That is actively tracking and mapping the room. And then when I hit done, it provided me with a little bit of a map like a, a panorama that you can pan around of what it's already captured. I'm really looking forward to seeing what can be done with this because this room, if, if I figured out a way to actually mount this on a tripod of some form or fashion and be able to spin it around, that would be perfect. But I can't think of a way to actually do that because I don't have any way to actually mount it standing up. Maybe I can 3D print something. <laughs> it always comes back to that. But they've got like a couple of games, they've got room capture, app, uh, scanning things so you can scan actual objects. I haven't gotten it to scan an object yet. I tried to scan a little quadcopter. Maybe I need to try scanning something a little bigger. It's it's acting weird. I'm gonna have to read up on it, but this thing is super cool. I, I just kind of wish, well, I guess I wish that it would work with Android devices, but I can definitely see why they wouldn't want to support it because this has to have a whole mounting bracket to fit on the iPad, and it makes a whole lot more sense to have like three brackets, four brackets, than to have 50 brackets. Although realistically, I could almost see having this be magnetic and just be able to magnetize to the back of the device. Maybe even have just a, a sticky pad that you put on it. I don't know. It's really cool though. I gotta get some lunch though. So you're leaving me here all by myself? <laughs> and you're taking my little man? That is a cute little outfit. Mm -hmm. That is adorable. It's the outfit Duncan came home from the hospital in. Yep. And he has puppy feet. <laughs> yeah, duck feet yesterday is puppy feet today. She said she's got to run into her office real quick, get some work stuff that has to be done and can't be done from here because passwords are dumb from time to time. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, have fun. Mm -hmm. Don't have too much fun. Bring him back. Okay, bye. Well, I asked her again and again and again, four or five times at least, to leave Ellis here. Even though I, I've got stuff I need to be doing and I've not really got the ability to deal with the baby as well as dealing with the day job. I could make it work for the amount of time she's going to be gone. Like I said, it's really, really cold outside. And at her office, she's got to walk a really long distance to get from the parking area to her office. So she's going to have to fight with the stroller. She's going to have to fight with the carrier. And no, me going with her was not exactly an option. I mean, technically, I guess I could have taken my laptop and just worked while I was there because she's probably going to be there for an hour or more. And, but like I said, I kept telling her, you know, just, just leave him here. It's not a big deal. But she said that her coworkers are all going to want to meet him. I'm still not really comfortable, not really happy with it, but... 
you know, she's gonna do what she's gonna do. And on the other side of things, on the us side of things, this actually does provide me with a little bit of time, potentially a half an hour, potentially an hour, maybe a little more, to work on video stuff. And it's lunchtime right now, but I think I'm gonna forego lunch for just a little bit to work on video stuff. Well, that's a nice surprise. I just went out to check the mail and I got a package from FameBit. FameBit's a company that I've done a bunch of sponsorships through over the last year. And apparently because I hit a certain threshold, they decided to go ahead and send me a little gift pack. Cool stuff. Let's see, there's a FameBit Stay Famous. What is this? I do not know what this is. It's a little thing that opens somehow. When all else fails, take a screwdriver to it. It's a mirror. It's a little dual mirror. If I had to guess, it's probably a makeup mirror because a lot of the people making these sponsored videos are beauty guru type people. There's a pair of FameBit sunglasses, very nice, purple and white. Unfortunately, I cannot wear sunglasses because glasses. There's some candy, there's some FameBit specific M&Ms. Look at that. Uh oh, I've got it set to autofocus. Oh well. And looks like there's some stickers, some FameBit stickers. And to wrap things up, the thing that I was actually interested in when they contacted me shirt. Let's see. That is not a size large. That is potentially a ladies large. No, that's not large at all. Oh, and there was a thing of chapstick in there that I somehow missed. Chapstick. Yep. <laughs> that's not a large at all. When they asked me about it, I asked about a large just because I kind of figured as with a lot of things they would shrink, but nope. Yep. Pretty sure that I got a lady size by mistake because uh, this is Definitely very skin tight. <laughs> That's okay, I'll give it to Christina. I'm sure she'll figure out something. But either way, it was a very nice thought. FameBit reached out to me and they offered to send me something nice to thank me for supporting their service. And realistically, I, I am just thankful to them for helping me to support my channel. So cool, thanks FameBit. You guys are smudged. Let me deal with you a little bit. Much better. By the way, cannot recommend these highly enough. These are absolutely awesome. There are a bunch of companies that make them. They're super cheap on Amazon. It's, it's just a little brush that you can use to clean dust off the end of a lens. And then the other side is a little microfiber cloth you can use to be very, very precise with it. Use these things all the time. But it is quite a little bit later. I've been taking as much advantage as possible of the time that I've had while Christine has been away to attempt to do video type stuff. So I went ahead and hooked up the Quantum PC stick. I know one or two of you guys mentioned in the comments you were interested in seeing a video on that. I've got it all set up and running. I've got the majority of the video done at this point. I just have to import it, edit it and everything. It looks like for some reason my video and audio are out of sync because I chose to put the camera over the screen because I'm super smart like that. So I'm gonna have to fix that, but that's not really a big deal. Just split out the video and audio, make sure they line up and then fix it again. But uh, right after I brought it up, it's Windows 8.1. As a part of the installation process, it actually popped up and said, by the way, Windows 10 is now available. You want that? I chose during the, the whole setup just to wait so I could get it up and see what comes pre-installed on it, how it runs, things like that. I didn't go through anything thorough. But then immediately after that, I said, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Windows 10 update. It's doing that now. And I've got some stuff I've gotta do for work. But I'm also using the Nexus 5X to test out the Impal lenses that they uh, Impal sent to me the other day. I am really, really impressed with how these have turned out so far especially the macro lens. I didn't think that I was gonna like the macro lens at all, but if you put that on there and then just touch it to something, you basically get just a magnifying glass, not even a like a microscope practically. I think Duncan's absolutely gonna love this, and I think I may actually have another one. So I may see if he's interested in putting that on his iPad, because I think if he could play around a little bit with it like a microscope, he might get a little bit more interested in the sciences. We bought him a microscope for Christmas, and occasionally he does want to play and to look at things, but this would give him something mobile that he could move around and take pictures and video. Ultra close zoomed in on your skin and hair follicles. Ultra close zoomed in on the dog or something. I don't know. But back to doing work type stuff. There's something going wrong with my day job stuff I've got to fix like now. And unfortunately between dealing with baby stuff this morning, dealing with helping Christina with certain things this morning, filming things after she left, I haven't gotten on the treadmill yet today. I've been standing here on it but I haven't actually walked on it because it seems like anytime I start to walk on it or start to do anything, they get pulled away. So I've got like 1500 steps and it's 1.30. Ouch. Time to walk. By the way, they made it back home. Everybody's all good. He's out again. That's what he does. Everybody at your work like him. Said he wasn't too terrible. You said he snoozed the whole time though, right? Yeah, he yeah, slept of course. the whole time. And of course, it's about that time of day. <laughs> well, that's a good thing to walk in on. <laughs> munch, munch, munch. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. 
I'd completely forgotten we're supposed to go to the dentist today. Both Christina and I have appointments and I'm like right in the middle of trying to fix something to do with work. Oh well, time to stop what I'm doing. All right, time to go mobile. And it's actually quite a bit later. I took the camera with me, but I didn't end up using it. But we're home now and time to have a little bit of dinner. And little man was good while we were out. He slept like the whole time. Well, that is a pretty and really different sunset think it might be time for another time lapse actually. Somebody had a surprise for me. Walked in the bathroom while I was pooping. <laughs> he lost a tooth. His very first tooth. It hurt. No? It bled a little bit though and he kind of freaked out about that. But that's okay. That's normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got a bunch more to go. But you got new ones that are going to come in. Think you can whistle through that? Think you're going to whistle when you talk? <laughs> no. No. That's good. That's your first one. Congratulations. High five. Yeah. Awesome. You He's love the tooth. Toothless Joe and whatnot. That's awesome. Does it feel funny? Well, yeah. The, he said when he smiles, he can see his tongue. You can. <laughs> That's silly. And if I stick my tongue cord, it goes out. Yeah. Yeah. I thought your other front tooth was loose. Only a little bit. Only a little oh, bit. Tiny oh. little bit. It'll come out eventually. Yeah. And little man is sleeping again. Yep. He won't. Oh, I saw eyes. Oh, there's eyes there. He's awake. You know what? What? You don't have to. We gotta find your um. Toothy bear. Your toothy bear, so we can put it in his pocket and put him in your bed tonight. Why can't I just put it under my pillow? What if it roll? You sleep kind of wild, honey. <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, what, if, what if it falls on the floor and the tooth fairy can't find it? Oh. Uh, well, why don't we? Why don't we put it in the toothy bear? Okay. Let's go look for it. Go, right. go look for toothy bear. He's in your room. Where we go? I don't know where he is. This is a. It's a little bear that my aunt made me when I was a little little boy. This one. There I he found is. Him. Oh, I found him. Down the bottom of a drawer. Does it have my name on it? No. Nope. Just made out of a pair of old blue jeans. There's Tooty Bear. See? Has a bandana on it. Doesn't have to have the bandana. I don't know why it's on there. Need help. <laughs> You're coming down backwards. Turn around. <laughs> no. Uh oh. I think someone has discovered the bear. It's actually kind of appropriate. He just lost that tooth because we just got back from the dentist. Yeah. Good thing that we didn't lose ours. <laughs> Yet. Yeah. And he'll eventually he'll get his own. Yeah. You're going right. to get your own set. And not going to lose all of his and gain some new ones, bigger ones. And he'll lose his and get new ones. Yeah, and you're going to have to be there and be helpful when he goes to lose his, so he'll know not to be scared about it too. Because it's not a big deal, is it? Nope. There you go. It just bleeds a little bit, right? A little right? bit. You just wash it out. No problem. All right, that's exciting. My buddy Nick, I've mentioned him here before. He mentioned to me a little while back that he had either won it in a, an auction or won in a contest or something, somehow, a Claptrap. If you're not familiar with it, Claptrap is a character from the Borderlands video game series. Little robot, very cool little robot. And like I said, apparently he won this and it showed up today. But the thing is, because of the way it's designed and stuff, he says he needs another pair of hands with it. So he says he's gonna bring it over here and we're gonna check it out. So when he gets here, we'll hopefully have the camera on. I told him he has to make videos about it, or at least a video about it. And I'm gonna try to include some of it in here. And if he makes videos about it and he's interested, I'll make sure to leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. I'm subscribed to him, I watch his videos. He doesn't make very many, but he wants to make more. So if he does end up making videos about this, I will make sure to link to him. And you guys should definitely go show him some love, but I'll be sure to let you know what happens. Got this in the mail. <laughs> you got a clap trap. Yes. Yeah. So where did that come from? Did you say you won it from something? Or? Yeah, um, actually one of the charities I donate to every once in a while is called Take This, and they essentially raise money for mental health issues and that sort of thing. Hmm. Um, basically they had a live stream going on, and this and a couple other items like gaming-wise were being raffled off. Right. If you donated a certain amount, you got an entry towards it. Uh, they had another one that was like a pit box, like an Xbox Fallout hmm. 4. Like, oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so it was gold. But one of the things in there was a Claptrap figure. And I was like, okay, I like Borderlands and I'll yeah. donate towards it. So that's what I thought it was. Right. Just a Claptrap figure. No, it's more than a Claptrap figure. So I've already opened it partially. Ooh. Yeah. So it actually moves. Is this metal? <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 
they even have so essentially it's just if you want there are three modes there is a mode where you can just have it like when you post it up and just use it basically as a statue and like a light will come on and it can say stuff and then you have the other mode which does that too but you can move it around Ooh. through remote control so it's pretty neat. I actually... Uh, I do see a wheel on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when when you're not using it, like moving it around, you just put it in this little like yeah, container. Yeah, stand. So, yeah, it's a stand. But what you do if to move it is... So it has a Wi-Fi built into it. Oh, okay. So you have to download it. arms. Yep. <laughs> the arms I wouldn't suggest putting on when you're moving it, though, because right. they will fall off. They'll fall off and they'll um, break. and. Yeah. So That's so cool. Here's what you have to do. So they have the instructions in there. I've already done it. So you have to download an app. They even tell you in their uh, actual manual. Clap trap control. Tap a trap. Yeah. You can plug it up to an USB and you charge it. Charge lasts for about, after you charge it fully, it lasts for about 30 minutes. So it's not super long yeah. if you're moving around. Now, if you're not moving around, it lasts a lot longer. Um, for something that's essentially a little RC, 30 minutes is not bad. Right. So you plug it up through the USB there. It charges through there. And you'll know when it's fully charged because the light on the front of here turns to solid blue. Ah. Otherwise, it just keeps flashing. Mm -hmm. So I've already charged it up, so it should be good. Switch has modes zero, one, and two. Yeah, there's one mode is for the actual movement, and then the other mode is just for the basic functions. Right. Um, but you got to turn on Wi-Fi, and then what it is is it actually has its own Wi-Fi points. It says clap trap. Okay, so it's connected. And then you go ahead and bring the app back up, and you can choose, I guess, either the dandy or the regular. We'll choose regular. So that, and then we connect. And it's basically saying, are you sure you want to connect? Because he's an annoying robot. <laughs> it's not too late. Okay, so it'll connect and hopefully, yeah, there it goes. Oh. So it has a camera on front of it. And okay, so this is just the basic mode. So in here, you can press hold the talks to where you can actually talk through the actual robot itself. So if I hold this, hello. hello. <laughs> and I'll talk through that. That's not the cool. That's not as cool as this though. This is better. Catch me, Squire! <laughs> and you can go through. Why are you not laughing right now? That was fucking gold. You have the the other mode, which is the movement mode. Uh, you can either do it through this, or it also has motion sensor. Now I'm not sure if we're on that mode yet. I don't think we are. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh, and he's, he's got a little balance. Got kind of like a little gyro in him. But you basically move it through well, here. As long as you keep him moving. If you stop yeah. moving, he's going to fall over. I think he's going to fall over pretty soon. You got to go kind of... Or is it, it's all doing that itself? You're not controlling it? That is awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Your dog doesn't even care about the robot. No. It's just like, whatever. She's going to get hit by it. <laughs> okay, forget... This is a dog that's clearly okay with RC vehicles. <laughs> Come here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you see what happens when something bumps into it. Taking a quick closer look at it. Sure. This appears to be our camera lens here in the front. I'd be curious to see what the resolution on that camera is. Not good. Not great. Not from what I'm seeing in the app. Wheels it's... on the bottom. It's enough to know where you're going. There's your, where your arms connect. On the back, there's the micro USB charging port. Five volts. Got the arm. So he says he may be connected at this point. Maybe. I just, I've just i been amused by the fact that it's just kind of driving back and forth. Even when it lost its connection, it's still staying Yeah, it's, it's maintaining status. Maybe you'll have better luck controlling it than I did. I don't know. Okay, so see, there's the camera. I don't, I'm not sure if I move it like this way or that way, if that does anything. Like if I move it... That should be forward and back. That That's actually controlling the front, back, left, right movement. Like driving forward. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> so what's the? That should turn left and right. Oh. Yeah. Spin nice. around. Nice. And if you, if you use two thumbs, you mm -hmm. can do you can control driving around in circles and whatnot. And now it's just. I just want to love you, Jordan. It's just <laughs> let it happen. Just let it happen. Uh oh. Yeah, it doesn't want more than that. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. He's had his fill. Bye. Nice knowing you. Oh, no. He's going to come back for more. He's just going to charge me. That's what's going to happen. All right, let's see what happens. So, turn. Your um, multi-touch isn't working. 
It, it started humping and got at Jordan's leg. <laughs> Doesn't seem to want to do multiple things at once. Whoa. He's balancing. Oh, sorry. I'm going to get him away from your legs. That's the thing. It's it's a completely different experience because you've got to maintain balance at the same time. Get the dog. Get the dog. No, don't get me. No. And he moves. We got it in motion control mode. Yeah, motion control mode's kind of uh, interesting. I'm letting my friend Jordan here control it because he has way better uh, handling of it than I do. Yeah, motion control actually works a little bit better if you if you're kind of careful with it. No, come back. Come back. <laughs> Didn't you make it say stuff while I was doing it? Like, no. there's a button on it. Is it not on it when you're moving it, I guess? I didn't see it. It's at the bottom right corner. No, I, I, I saw where you were hitting earlier. and I... Yeah. Okay, so it's so apparently I guess you can't make it say stuff while it's doing that. I guess it's it can only do so much at a certain time. Nope. Not anymore. No. <laughs> None for you. Kind of overcompensate. That's my problem. <laughs> Have you tried the motion control? No, I have not. You just move your phone. I guess you just move the phone. With yeah, you, you see the way I'm moving the phone. If I do it this way, he turns that way. If I do it this way, he turns that way. And the way you tilt the phone influences the way he goes forward and back. Apparently, no. Nope, it's, it's an awesome little robot. <laughs> now, if you can get it to deliver drinks. By the way, Nick brought the uh, the Vixia HF50, the one that I told you guys about a few days ago. He picked one of these up, and uh, this is what it looks like. This is a lot smaller than I would have anticipated. Teeny, tiny little thing. So much so that I'm actually tempted to pick one up because I've seen it now, because I've gotten hands-on with it. But that that's how small it is. Actually, for the sake of comparison, here it is. Here's my Sony. That's a size difference right there. <laughs> Wow. The quality on it's really good. So yeah, it's not bad at all. I've, like uh, sound quality even is is better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. yeah. And while we were in here playing with the claptrap, I was using his to film a little bit too, and not bad at all. I mean, you can see, maybe you can see, focus, focus, <laughs> focusing too close. Yeah. I mean, it's got decent quality, and we don't have a whole lot of lighting turned on in here. I'm filming you through a camera, through a camera. That was an absolutely awesome experience. Nick, if you happen to see this video, thank you for bringing that over here. If I happen to include all the footage in here, hopefully you enjoyed that footage. I'm very, very tempted though to pull it out and make it into a main channel tech video because it's an RC device, kind of, and it's an Android controlled device. So that in and of itself would make for just an absolutely amazing main video. Super tempting. And again, it is quite a bit later. It's actually a little bit after 10 o'clock now. Duncan has gone to bed. He's all good there. His teeth, you know, it stopped bleeding and everything, obviously. And he was super stoked about the Tooth Fairy stuff. He's talking, to, he apparently has watched a TV show, a cartoon of some form or fashion. I think it was Teen Titans Go, where they all were like knocking their teeth out in order to get money from the Tooth Fairy. And they were getting wads and wads of cash. And he, so he's expecting a wad of cash when he wakes up in the morning. He will be woefully disappointed. He is just a snuggling right up on the couch. Ready for bed here in a little bit. And you know what guys, Christina has taken Ellison on to bed at this point. I'm gonna continue working on video stuff. I shot most of the video for that uh, PC streaming stick thing earlier, so I'm probably gonna try to wrap that video up and get it edited and ready to go. Because it's been like four days, five days since I put up a video on the Twill.tv channel. Really need to get at least one video up there now. I should also mention, uh, as mentioned earlier, FameBit sent me a whole bag full of stuff. I got in touch with them about it, said thank you so much for the bag of stuff, I really appreciate it. Just thought I'd go ahead and mention the t-shirt I received was a size large, but I'm fairly certain it is a women's or a junior young ladies type shirt, because it's way too small for me. It's actually too small for Christina. And they actually got back with me very quickly and said, we're really sorry about that, we're going to send you out a new one, we'll get this all taken care of. Which is great, because the shirt itself is absolutely awesome. I can see BMO on it from here. BMO from Adventure Time, if you happen to watch that show. Just lots and lots of cool reference type things on there, and I would love to wear a shirt like that. It's not a black t-shirt. But I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. I'm going to finish editing this vlog, as well as working on as many other things as possible. 
So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for spending the day with me and my family. You definitely got to see a little bit more of them today and some other people. Thanks to Nick again. If you happen to see this video, Nick, thanks for bringing that over. That was an awesome time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.